and welcome to the D&D Cafe. Hello everybody, this is Logan from Coffee Cup Studios, and welcome back to D&D 101 over here at the D&D Cafe. Last episode I showed you guys how to make a first level character, and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to level up. Um, now if we flip over here to our character sheet... Um, now, I did lose the character sheet from last time. Um, I had to rewatch my video and recreate it. So if there are anything uh, that is like slightly different, that's why. I apologize, but I think I made everything kind of back to the way it was. Also, I did realize last video I forgot to go over one of the bard inherent features known as bardic inspiration. So I'm going to cover that real quick. So if we flip over to our bard page and scroll down... If kind of past spellcasting and things like that. What we have right here is Bardic Inspiration, which I totally forgot to go over and I really apologize for. Um, that's also, uh, you can see it up here, spellcasting and Bardic Inspiration. Spellcasting I did kind of go over. Bardic Inspiration I did not, which is uh, unfortunate and I apologize. So here's a little blurb on how Bardic Inspiration works. So basically you can kind of say words or play a song that kind of inspires your teammates and kind of allows them to do better on roles. Currently, at a low level, the uh, Bardic Inspiration is a D6, which I have noted right here. So basically, you can give a D6 to another player to use on another one of their roles. It's kind of an important feature of Bard, and I really apologize I went over that. Or I didn't go over that even. Anyways, so now let's get into actually leveling up your character. So the first thing you're going to want to do is roll your health. So now if we flip back over here go down right here hit points and hit dice hit points at higher levels that's what we want to focus on all right so you'd roll 1d8 or you can take just a base five and then you'd add your constitution modifier per bar level above first or so basically in our case we'd be leveling up to level two so we would do that one time i'm for simplicity's sake i'm just going to take the five so it'd be at 14 and then we'd add our constitution modifier which is one so we would be at 15. let me change the max health there and then the next thing we need to do is we need to kind of go back down to this table here and check what are the things we get. Because this is kind of important. So our proficiency at second level does not change, so we can leave that alone. Um, we do get two new features, which I will look into. Our cantrips known is the same. Our spells known goes up by one, and we also get one more first level spell. So first of all, let's cover these features real quick. So scroll down underneath this. So jack of all trades. All right, so starting at second level, you add half your proficiency bonus rounded down. So in this case, half our proficiency bonus rounded down would be one to any ability check that you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus. So that's good. So for traits like, I don't know, Arcana or something like that, that we're not too familiar with, and we add half of our proficiency. So to Arcana, we would actually have a plus one instead of a zero. I didn't have these filled out from last time. Because, um, like I said earlier, the character sheet had some issues. Yeah, so now we'd have a plus one to things where we would normally have a zero. And for strength checks, we would have a plus zero rather than a minus one, which would be very good. So going back here, we also get Song of Rest, which is right here. So beginning at second level, you can use soothing music or oration to help revitalize your wounded allies during a short rest. So let's see. So this kind of helps regain hit points during short rests and things like that, which is good because normally you would only regain hit points during a long rest or through the use of potions or magic. And I guess you can regain hit points through a short rest, but you'd have to expend hit dice, which is determined by your level. Um, speaking of that, we actually get one more hit die. Uh, meaning during a short rest we can expend two hit die now to do like a, a short heal. And also I would record these new features over here. So first feature was Jack of All Trades. And then the next one was Song of Rest. And now this gets us into the spells, which I have um, another list pulled up uh, over at D&D Beyond. So now if we check back here real quick, we can scroll back up. So cantrips doesn't change, but we get one more spell and we get one more first level spell slot. So for first level spell slots, that would be now that's now three, and we also know one more spell, so we can just pop over here real quick. Um, also, I did edit one of these because I think I had vicious mockery as a first level spell, which is actually a cantrip, so that was wrong. Um, but I'm going to just take uh, hideous laughter. Um, so yeah, so that is how you would level up a basic character. Now I'm actually going to level up uh, two more times to kind of go over, so that way I can go over ability and score improvement, and also uh, bard colleges, 
uh, and expertise. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna go back here and adjust my health two more times. So 27. And once again, I'm just using the kind of base um, hit points rather than actually rolling here for simplicity's sake. Um, we'd also get some more various things. So right here we get expertise and bard college. So if scroll down here. Um, so right here's a little description of the bard college. So basically you get to kind of go into a subclass of bard. Um, I'll go into that a little bit later because that one has a little bit more detail to it. And then expertise. So basically you get to double your proficiency in a in two skills of your choice. You also gain this again at 10th level. Um, so I, I can pick another thing to gain expertise in. So let's say I will do that in persuasion. So rather than having proficiency, or sorry, proficiency bonus, and then my charisma bonus, it would be charisma plus proficiency twice. So it would be a plus seven rather than just a plus five. Um, and I get to choose that for two skills. So I would also choose that for, uh, let's say, I don't know, acrobatics. So I'd have a plus seven there as well. Now going over to Bard College, um, this is where you kind of get to choose your subclass. Um, and this is kind of, you can do whatever kind of fits your character best. So just kind of reading through, there's uh, kind of large descriptions, this one, and each, they kind of give you little uh, buffs as you level up as well. Um, so this one, kind of the base one that you would get, is you can add this to attack rolls and things like that. Um, this one's kind of more attack based, whereas the other one is kind of... Uh, the other one is kind of more um, kind of crafty knowledge and stealth based. Um, so I think it would make sense for my character to be more of the College of Lore. So I would probably go and record that down here real quick. Um, actually, no, I would probably just write that down here real quick. And then expertise, I'm not going to write down because I just add that to stats. And then at third level... Um, you get this little ability here. So I would probably write that over here and then a little room for description. And now we're, since we leveled up uh, twice, go back here since we've gone over these. Oh, I suppose I need to go over spells real quick. Um, so our cantrips stay the same. We gain one more um, spell known and we also get one more first level and then we get two second level spell slots. So scrolling down over here, we get one more of those, and then we get two of these. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a spell out of here, so that way I can have two down here, because it's just spells known rather than things like that. Um, so then going into our second level spells, here's a kind of general list. Uh, I'm going to take Suggestion, which is interesting. Here's a little description of that if you want to pause and read that. Um, and I'm also going to kind of look over here, and I'm probably going to take a Cloud of Daggers. Oop, that one is blocked here. Let's see. Those ones are both blocked. That's okay. Um, but I'm going to take those spells. All right, now going back, because we leveled up twice, um, we're going to look over here. So we get an ability score improvement. Our proficiency stays the same. Our cantrips known goes up by one. And then I'll kind of get into that later. But right now, going over to the ability score improvement. Scroll down here real quick. So ability score improvement. Um, you can kind of read over this. So basically, we get to choose um, one score. One of our ability scores we can increase by two, or two we can increase by one. So going back here, since we are charisma-based, I'm just going to boost that by two. So from 16, we go to 18, which then changes this to a plus four. Um, and then we'd have to check our charisma-based ones, because this would go up by one. And then our spell casting and things like that would change. So the spell save DC would go up by one. Whoops. And I believe our spell attack bonus would also go up by one. Now going back here, since that's all we got at this level... Um, that's quite handy because that way you can kind of buff your stats um, or say even if I was happy with my charisma being a 16 I could have buffed my wisdom intelligence or strength um, so that way I could have kind of helped boost some of my lower stats um, but going back here real quick so at fourth level I suppose we're now fourth level based on what I've been doing here um, 
So we get one more cantrip, seven spells known, and we get one more second level spell slot. So going down here, I'm going to change that real quick. So we have three second level spell slots, and we get one more cantrip. So let's look back up at cantrips here. Um, now I can take Vicious Mockery. And then now that we know seven spells, we only have six here. So now I can choose if I want to take a first level or a second level. I'm going to choose a second level because those are usually a little bit more fun. Um, and I'm going to take the Heat Metal spell. This is quite a fun spell if you're fighting anybody with armor and things like that. All right. So now that I've kind of shown you how to level up a couple levels here, that's how that stuff works. Um, so you kind of get, gain access to higher spells, your hit points increase, um, you have the opportunity to kind of buff some of your weaker stats, um, and you learn more spells as you kind of go along. And yeah, and then make sure you record all the various features and stuff you get, because um, those are always good to have some sort of a reference towards. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.